Hello and welcome my friends, how are you doing? We are Elite Gaming and we want to welcome you to our next review. Today we are going to talk about Watch Dogs, but we don't want to waste any time. Let's jump straight into it. <laughs> Let's talk about single player and multiplayer. First, we should talk about the multiplayer. Yes, this game has a multiplayer mode. Woo! But to have the best experience online, we recommend it on the new consoles and on PC. Second thing is, you can play online with your friends and make missions in the city. Or you can just wreck all those bitches in the city and just make a big chaos. We don't want to talk more about the multiplayer, you will find it out by yourself. On the single player mode, you play a character Aiden Pierce and you are a hacker. Not only your guns and skills are imported for your journey, also your mobile phone. Yes, your mobile phone, which is really, really important to get yourself easy access to powerful weapons and tricks or access to, to doors to get away from the police, for example. In the single play mode, you play through the story, which is really good, and you have to do one job after another. There are also some kind of side missions you can do, or because it is an open world map, you can fuck up everything nearly all the time, which we think makes the most fun. <laughs> The next thing we want to talk about is hacking. First of all, the slogan of this game is Hacking is our weapon. And this slogan rocks the game from the beginning to the end. You will never think of what things you can actually hack until you play this game. A little side information, most hacks in this game are possible in real life. If you have enough time, not as fast as in the game, but it is possible. Or they are possible. Okay, let's get back. You can hack, for example, ATM machines, people's phone for SMS, for their calls you can hear them talk, lifting ramps, traffic lights, automatic traffic pillars, gas pipelines, doors and so much more. Almost everything you can hack gives you the possibility to use it really in a strong way against your enemies or for yourself or to make fun. <laughs> You run around in the city and have chaos. You can hear and read every little secret. You can always imagine yourself in real life doing this. And this is what makes this game special. You just feel like a real hacker at some point. Let's talk about skilling and XP. Let's talk shortly about XP and skilling. You have a real, really big skill tree in this game. Each enemy you defeat, each job you accomplish gives you more XP. After you've got enough XP for your next some kind of level, in quotes, you get a skill point to spend. You can spend it on so many skills, for example, hacking, your ability to use weapons, and so on. So you can change Aiden Pierce over time to what he should do best. Shooting, hacking, what you want and so on, which is pretty, pretty cool. Weapons and vehicles. Let's talk about it. We will start with the guns. You can buy so many guns from the gun shop. Pistols, assault rifles, sniper rifles, different attachments for your guns and so on. You need a lift? You want to go for a ride? Nothing more easy than that. Just take it. Get out of your house, walk to the next car and steal it. Drive around in about 67 different cars. Rating 8 out of 10. The rating is 8 out of 10 points in our opinion. First, we always talk about the bad things or the things we didn't like about the game. First of all, it's from Ubisoft. No, just joking. First of all, the details, it's an open world map. You can explore so much, but in some kind it's getting repetitive and it's that's pretty sad. They could have done more missions, not just side jobs, they could have done more events. It's a little sad that they decided to give this game the normal look and feel of a third person game. Now we come to the part what we really liked about this game. Even if it is a little repetitive, you can explore so much of the map. You can learn so much to use your environment with your hacks. The hacks are some kind of funny sometimes, and for example, if you listen to someone's call, there are a lot of what the fuck moments. <laughs> and the story is really sweet, nothing really really special, but the story is better than in most games. You have so many things you want to know or you get to know and so on. The directors are cool and have their own individual style. There are a lot of vehicles, weapons, skills you can earn, of course, hacks, hacks 
and hacks. What you really liked too was the idea of the game, a game where you play a hacker, a game which integrates hacking really smoothly and nicely into the gameplay. It's really action-packed. You can always do something in the game which makes it really good. So our ending sentence for the rating is, if you like GTA, you will mostly like Watch Dogs. It's really action-packed, on the line with a little sweet story and really cool to play. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed your stay. If you like what you see, hit that like button. If you want to be informed when we upload our content, hit subscribe. Not satisfied with your reviews yet? Click on Lost or Next on the end card to get more reviews from us. We are Lead Gaming, we hope you can see you on another video. Cheerio! <laughs>